Um, first, I want to say thanks to the good folks here in Yuma for hosting us. We've had a wonderful 24 hours. I guess it's been 24 hours, Supervisor, uh, seeing all kinds of interesting things. We want to thank you for your hospitality to the mayor. Thank you for the facility and for all your hospitality as well and our witnesses who will get to you. We talked to Dr. earlier today and Sheriff, we we're glad to have you with us as well as so many folks from our law enforcement community. It's not easy. It is not easy being in law enforcement today. So we want to thank you all for what you do. Um, And, it, and it's and obviously it's even it's even tougher when you're we're down here on the border and dealing with what we uh, we have. Um, it's a shame that not one Democrat member of Congress would join us on this trip, despite having weeks of advance notice. It's disappointing, but it's not surprising. In fact, the Democrats have called this a stunt. I would argue it's not a stunt. Not but not what we've. My guess is our witnesses wouldn't call it a stunt. What we've learned today from them, what we've seen last night on the border, uh, but it's disappointing that they're not here. Democrats dismiss the experiences of these real people that we've had a chance to visit with the last 24 hours, people affected by the Biden border crisis, and Democrats seem to believe that solutions can only come from bureaucrats in Washington. We actually think they come from the American people. Democrats were... Democrats were here and saw what we're seeing. Maybe we'd have a chance at ending this crisis and actually securing our southern border. According to Border Patrol agents, last night there were over 200 folks who crossed the border last night. Uh, we, got to see, we got to see the unfinished wall. Everyone tells us that walls work, walls help. Every agent we've talked to says that's the case, and yet we saw places where it should have been finished but wasn't this morning. We were at the Yuma Regional Medical Center. We heard from Dr. Trenchell and his great staff about the 26 million and un uncompensated care that they've had to uh, administer. Now, they're willing to help everybody, and they do, but uh, it'd be nice to get actually paid for the great work that they do and some other concerns that they had that impact the residents of this, uh, this wonderful community. And, of course, we saw the damage. We heard from growers today, the damage that happens to, to them and the crops in the fields and a host of other issues that we'll get to, I think, in the course of our hearing this afternoon. But by not being here and seeing firsthand is no excuse for inaction. Numbers don't lie. January Southwest border encounter number was 156,000, 30 percent higher, 36 percent higher than the total number of encounters in January 2021 and January 2020 combined. Let me just say that again. The number of encounters this January, last month, were more than a third higher than the last two Januaries of the Trump administration combined. Yet a Biden administration official touted this 156,000 encounter number as the result of, quote, a highly effective border security strategy. Only in Joe Biden's America is over a 5,000 illegal migrants encounter per day on the southwest border a, a cause to celebrate. Never forget what happened on day one. Day one, January 20th, 2021, Joe Biden said, we're not going to build the wall anymore. We're not going to keep the Remain in Mexico policy, and we're not going to deport any illegal migrants who come in for an immigration violation. So think about that. They're not gonna, there's no wall to get over. You won't have to wait in Mexico to have your asylum claim evaluated, and you will not get deported. You'll get to go where you want. Well, it's no wonder so many migrants want to come to the greatest country ever. And that's the situation he had. He's also called on Congress to pass a massive amnesty package. All of, those, all of these reckless actions let people around the world know that our border is open and the illegal border crossings haven't stopped since that day. Again, numbers don't lie. 4.75 million encounters since Joe Biden's been in office. Nearly a million of those have crossed in just the first four months of fiscal year 2023. Over 1 1.89 million illegal aliens encountered along the southwest border have been released into American communities by the Biden administration. 14,700 pounds of fentanyl were seized by Custom and Border Protection officials during fiscal year 2022. 12,500 pounds of fentanyl seized by Customs and Border officials just in the first four months of this fiscal year. Americans are dying as a result, direct result, of President Biden's open border policies. It's a shame that the Democrats did not join us today in Yuma. They would have learned a thing or two. They could have heard from the farmers and landowners and the growers that I talked about earlier. They would have seen how uh, overrun the hospital is with illegal migrants and the cost to our health care uh, institution 
here in Yuma. They would have heard directly from the people here in Yuma who live President Biden's border crisis each and every day. Instead, they've accused us of political grandstanding because we're here trying to hear from real people outside of Washington, D.C. Why don't Democrats want to hear from local law enforcement? Why don't Democrats want to talk to hospital administrators? Why can't Democrats be bothered to hear how fentanyl continues to kill tens of thousands of people in communities all across this great country? I think the answer, I think we know why. It's because Democrats' open border policies caused this crisis, and rather than choosing to do anything to fix it, they want to call it a stunt, and they want to play political games. I want to thank our witnesses for being here today, and I hope we can discuss what Congress can do to help fix this problem. Uh, with that, I would like to recognize our, our uh, subcommittee chairman. There he is, Mr. Mr. McClintock. Our subcommittee uh, uh, chairman on the issue of immigration, Tom McClintock from the great state of California. Mr. McClintock is recognized. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, as you know, the, the, the morning of Inauguration Day 2021, illegal immigration